Okay, this is going to be an introduction to line plots with matplotlib. And matplotlib is the primary graphics library for Python. It's a third party library, but it'll be installed automatically if you have installed a scientific platform such as Anaconda. Now, there are many other graphics libraries out there, but most of them are just wrappers around matplotlib. So, in other words, they use matplotlib as the base case. And matplotlib allows the production of publication quality graphics. Now, if you consider all of the elements of a graph, the axes, the labels, the plot area. You can just imagine that it may take many lines of code to get some of your graphs looking just the way you want them. Now, this is gonna be an introduction to line plots, and I'm gonna cover most of the common elements in the graph so you can get started. So I'm gonna be working with the Jupyter Notebook here, and you're gonna be able to download this notebook from a link in the video. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is to set up the environment. The only library I really need here is matplotlib, but I'm going to import pandas and pandas data reader so that I can work with some real data. Now, matplotlib is a huge library and it has lots of modules within it. The main module you're gonna to wanna to work with is pyplot, and so that's what I'm going to import. Okay, we'll run that cell. Okay, and then I will go ahead and get some data. I'm gonna get some stock price data for Google and Amazon, and then we'll just take a look at the first few rows of that. Okay, so I have data going back to the beginning of uh, 2019 here, and with that, we're ready to go ahead and start plotting. So. At the most basic level, all we need to do is call that import, PLT, and then call plot. So plot is the main line plot method. And then I'll just reference what I want to plot. Okay, so you can see we get a very basic graph. All right, another artifact we get is uh, the reference to the object we created. We can suppress this with a semicolon. Okay, if we want to plot the Amazon with the Google, we just go ahead and add another line. Okay, and this gives you an example of how the PyPlot module works. Essentially what we're doing is we're building these graphics in layers. And so Python always assumes that we are talking about the current graph. So anything that I reference here is gonna get added to this current graph. All right, so we'll make a few other changes because this is looking pretty boring. Uh, one of the first things we're gonna do is make the graphic larger. So I'm going to import another module from matplotlib. Okay, and this is gonna allow us to set certain parameters. So I'll set the figure size. Okay, and the parameters actually live in a list-like structure. Okay, so we'll see what that does. Okay, so we get a larger graphic. If you want to play around with the height and width, we can do that. All right, so at least now we can see the dates clearly. All right, and then let's add a few more features to our graph. Okay, um, I'm always gonna end with this semicolon, so I suppress that object address. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is add the legend. And if I don't give it any location, it's gonna show up in the upper right here. All right, and I, I can change the location. There's lots of ways to do it. I tend to use the numeric system. All right, so location two is upper left, so that's location one, two, three, and four. Uh, we can set it in the middle, so location six in the middle there. I can get it on the other side, okay? And then uh, along the horizontal axes, we can center it there as well, all right? In the top or the bottom, so location nine. All right, so I'll set it as location two. All right, next thing we're gonna do is uh, add some lines in here so these things are not just kind of floating in space. So I'm going to call the grid, and I'm gonna set it as true. Okay, so by default, we just get this sort of grayscale line. You can control it a little bit. So we can do something like set the color. You can set the color as anything you want. There are seven color codes, C-M-Y-K-G-R-B. All right, so I'll just set it as black. Okay, so that basically uh, makes the grids take the front stage here. All right, so they're sort of featured more prominently than any of the data we're graphing. I'm going to change their line style. And there are a few line styles, so we can do a dashed line, a dash dot, a dot dot is what I'm about to do. Okay, and so then that, I guess, makes the data front and center again. What would your graph be without a title? So we're going to add a title. 
Okay, so just like that, we have a title. We could, if we wanted, set the font. We could set a different font. We could set a different font size. Okay, there's lots of options I'm not gonna be able to go through here in a quick video. Okay, if we wanna uh, label the axes, I can set X label or Y label. Here, I'll just set the X and we'll get date down there. Okay, if we want to play around with the limits of our axes, either X or Y, we can set limits. So I will do this quickly just to demonstrate it for the Y axis. Okay, the property is either X limb or Y limb. We need to tell it where to start and where to stop. So we'll go down to 500 and up to 2500 just so we get a different axis here. It's not probably going to look very good. Okay, so there it is. It kind of centers the data there. All right, if we don't want to see all of these ticks, all right, we can set a limit. So Y ticks, X ticks. All right, and then it's going to take a list like structure. So I can set a variable, pass this into X ticks. And so I can just start at 500 and go every 500. All right, a couple more things. Uh, if we had a line style that we can use for the grids, uh, we must have one that we can use on the actual data, and we do. All right, so I will play with the data just a little bit, and uh, I'll make it red. All right, so this is sort of a shortcut method of setting the color and the line style. All right, I can break them out and specify it if I want. I can use O's. All right, so I get a bigger dot there. All right, and so as I mentioned, uh, there are seven colors you can use with this shortcut cut method, CMYKRGB. If you want some other color, you can specify a color and uh, you can actually use any system. All right, so I can use blue. Okay, Python has a number of built-in colors, so something like Alice blue would work. All right, I can use a hexadecimal color, so Okay, so there's a hex code. Uh, I can use uh, RGB uh, using three coordinates between zero and one that indicate how close to black I want to get. Okay, the most common thing you'll probably do is just let matplotlib decide what the color will be. All right, so that's what I did when I first started. I just let matplotlib decide what the default should be. Okay, and if we want to get something that's a little bit augmented here, we can import a different theme to plot. Okay, so there's a number of styles we can use. I'm going to try ggplot. All right, so there's a common wrapper library that you can also install and work with if you don't want to work with matplotlib. Okay, we see it looks pretty much the same as the default. So we'll get something that looks a little bit different here. And yeah, if you're wondering and you're familiar with R, that is the same ggplot that is the sort of de facto standard in R. All right, let me try a different style here. Okay, so there's the 538 style. And as I mentioned at the beginning, a lot of times getting your graphics to look just right takes lots of lines of code, all right? We haven't really done that much, but you can see that, oh, there are quite a few lines of code here just to get a pretty simple graph out there. All right, so that's why maybe you should take a look at some of the themes and see if any of those will at least get you to a baseline uh, that you can work from. Okay, and then down below here, I have included a couple of links out to the documentation. The documentation is very good and extensive, so you can spend a lot of time out there I just pointed at the common things that you might want to do, like look at the different themes. Okay, so we can scroll through and we can set one of these to be used instead of the default. All right, and there are quite a few. All right, and the interesting thing here is down at the bottom, uh, they actually show you the code that they use to generate these this graphic up above. All right, so if you want to get a little bit more exposure, uh, you can take a look at this and even try uh, that code. Okay, and then just I showed you one quick uh, line marker or two, I guess. I showed you the dots and the, and the O's. Here's the extensive listing of all the different markers you can use. All right, so that would be a line style. Okay, so I hope that can get you started with line plots and matplotlib.